I've been wanting to collect a series of games for like a uh, for a console for a long, long time, way before I ever started streaming. And uh, I, I decided to do the PlayStation Two one. I, I don't remember exactly how long ago at this point, but but not too too long ago. And I just figured I have all of the equipment that I need to stream it. And if I'm going to collect all these games, then I might as well share it with everybody else, you know? And that's the only reason I'm even streaming it. I, I would probably be doing this anyways, playing all these games and, and collecting all these games on my own time. Even if, even if I wasn't, you know, streaming it here, I just, I just thought it would be fun to chill with everybody. And, uh, it also helps give me a reason to, to play them, <laughs> Because otherwise I, I would probably end up buying a lot of them and then just never getting around to playing them. So this way I have a reason to also play the games that I'm collecting. So that's nice. Mr. Noodle says, when he says he's going to get something really means he's scared the living crap out of you. That is not my fault. All I did was go down and I came around the corner and I started to talk to her. She's the one that <laughs> gets scared at every little thing. I can't help that. That's not my fault, love. <laughs> Nate says, hell, mine wasn't even worried about getting big as much as just super anxious. I'm going to screw up and it'll be a mockery. But seeing it done by someone I know helped it click. That you can just chill out and have fun and do the random games you love. Yeah, man. I mean, look, and you probably will screw up just to be completely honest with you, you know? Lord knows I've had some bad streams. Even recently, after I've gotten a little bit more practice with, I've still had some bad streams. And uh, our buddy Jonathan, his first stream was was had some major struggles. I ended up having to uh, remote into his computer and help him fix some things because you know <laughs> he he struggled a little bit with it with it his first time. And that's just part of the growing pains. Everybody's going to screw up the first couple times they do something, you know. And uh, I'm sure I'll continue to screw up, but again, I, I just go into it with the mindset of I'm just here to have fun. So if I if I screw up, if I have a single bad stream or whatever here and there, it's not that big of a deal because I, I, I'm not here for the money. I'm here just because I, I want to do this for fun. So, yeah. And the chances in the beginning, at least, of like you screwing up and, and anybody of importance seeing it <laughs> is pretty slim, too. Because let's be honest, I mean, the, the, the number of viewers that any new streamer gets is going to be very small. It'll probably just be, for a lot of streams, just you, you know, maybe me or, or your wife or whoever. Just like, I mean, that's how it normally is for me, right? I usually have you. You're one of the number one viewers. And then uh, Mr. Noodle, of course. And then one or two other friends that pop in whenever they can. And it's not like any of us are going to make fun of you for having a bad stream. So I wouldn't even worry about that, you know? Just exactly like you said, man. Just pick some random game that you like and just nerd out for a bit. Just share it with everybody. And with enough luck and... Uh, with enough luck and, and, and entertainment value, <laughs> maybe you'll... Uh, Maybe it'll become something you can make a living off of, you know? This intro sequence is actually pretty neat. If we want to talk about the game for a moment. <laughs> it's the same music from the intro, though, which is a little disappointing, just because we listened to that track probably, you know, a dozen times. But, <laughs> but still, the whole, the whole fly over here with all the, the, the different little creatures and the neat landscape. It's not bad. I don't remember when this game came out exactly. I'm going to guess it was a little bit later in the PlayStation 2's life. Just going off of how clean most of these models and things looked. Dad, wake up. We're late. Dad. 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 Dad, come on. Wake up. Something looks off about character models, though. It may have something to do with the, the level of aliasing on everything. But... And he says, yeah, that's the plan, honestly. Just hoping to come across a few people that geeked over Fable or whatever and like the art style of it. 
you mean the art style of this game and then you're hoping to find some people that geek over fable like you do yeah yeah exactly man that's me that's how i am i just want to i just want to hang out with my friends play some video games and uh if i find one or two other people that like the stuff i like then that's awesome man build a build a even if it's a tiny community you know just someone to share your passion with is always nice and yeah, I like the the art style at least as far as like like this this screen here goes, right? And then that flyover shot, but the actual 3D-ness of it here is uh like it looks fine, don't get me wrong, it's just so incredibly alias. I feel like it's more alias than most other games. How do the actual controls feel though? Not bad. The jump seems a bit low, but that's fine. You have very good control over it not sure what that random glitch in the screen was there though that was odd select shows us some sort of collectible stuff okay that's first person camera gotcha this is the zoom on the camera cool cool let's go and zoom out okay okay you know what so far so good that may be zoomed a little too far out Okay, the camera may be just a little too attached. Um, we can't swim, apparently, so that's good to know. <laughs> What's that you said? Yes. That's your goal with it, just keep it small? Yeah, yeah. That's just go into it with the right mindset, man, and then I think you'll have fun with it. Okay, the collecting, it needs to, you need to have any game where you're collecting stuff. You need to have a bit of a radius around your character where you can collect things in. Because otherwise it's just... It, it gets too uh, frustrating, right? To be exactly on the things that you have to pick up. Hey there, Gertie. You ready for the tournament yet? You know, someday I'm gonna be a great shepherd. I penned all these dupes by myself, and I'm only 12. I bet when I'm as old as your dad, I'll be the greatest shepherd that ever lived. Hey, where is he? He's cutting things a bit fine, isn't he? I can't wake him up. He won't get up. Jeez, didn't I just tell you I was only 12? You're going to need some old folk to help you out with this one. <laughs> I, uh, speak to grandma. I don't know what the actual goal is. I guess just to find her dad, man. Or, or find someone to help her dad. <laughs> I have no idea. I bet since the elders. Yeah, I, I know next to nothing about this game, just to be honest with you. See that green arrow over there? Uh, yes. Okay then, head over to that spot and you'll meet the gypsy. She's almost as old as Grandma. How did? Oh yeah, I forgot about the face buttons. Okay, so we got a bit of a map that we can pull out. We can pull it out minimap style, although that takes up a lot of the screen just for a minimap. <laughs> or you can pull it out full map style there. That is, okay, that's a little off. Um, so one complaint about the, the look of the game, once everything's in motion, it becomes, it blurs together a little bit more. I think that just has to do with the, the color scheme that they went with. At least in this area, everything being very, very uh, gray and green and whatnot. A little woodpecker up there, that's cute. Guess there's nothing to do but go the way they wanted us to go. Maybe follow the bells or whatever the hell that is. I have no idea. Yeah, I think I picked this game up, if I remember correctly, from a uh, local-ish game shop. Or not game stop, but game shop. And it was like in the bargain bin or whatever. And I saw it and then heard the name Hurdy Gurdy. And I was just like, I got to. I got to pick it up. I'm sure it's going to be trash. But I have to have it. And uh, yeah, so here we are. <laughs> Playing uh, this game that I, I just assumed from the get-go would not be any good. But hopefully we'll be pleasantly surprised with. The camera moves very fast. Do we have like a control section here? Can we turn? Okay, all you can do is turn the vibration on and off. Perfect. <laughs> That's. I was hoping maybe we could turn down the sensitivity a little bit or something because man is the camera sensitive also thank you tree okay i guess we can't jump over that can we go around it yeah wrong way i need to invert controls but i can't because it's not an option 
I noticed that the game is made or at least published by Eidos, which I don't know who owned them back then, but nowadays that's a uh, Square Enix company, if I remember correctly. Didn't they work on, uh, was it the Tomb Raider games that they worked on? With their newer, their newer games? Is he a hobbit? He kind of looks like a hobbit, doesn't he? With his giant feet and big hands. I guess maybe he's not hairy enough. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if hobbit children look like full-grown hobbits with their, their hairy-ass feet and whatnot, but that's what he's making me think of. A hobbit child. Uh, excuse me. Where's the en exit? There it is. Man, the camera, like, I'm just barely hitting it, and it is zooming across the screen. So I'm getting the feeling that this is going to be a case of good idea, bad execution. Yeah, core design, original home of Tomb Raider, was just Googling. Okay, okay. Because of how similar it seemed. <laughs> You mean how similar this seemed to <laughs> Tomb Raider? I'm confused. Because <laughs> uh... <laughs> cause it's uh, it's not feeling too uh, Tomb Raider-y to me right now. <laughs> similar to you. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, just first impression here, you know, just being in it a very short time. It doesn't seem too, too bad. I'm not offended by it, at least. It's Gertie. Could you take me to the village? I need to speak to Grandma. It's urgent. Well, let me say. Oh, now, when you want to leave an area, simply find me, and if you've herded enough creatures for me to take you to the next area, I'll be happy to do so. However, if you don't have enough, I'm afraid I can't let you through. I do not like whoever this voice actress is, or at least the voice that she's doing. Right, let's go. I am not enjoying that. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what kind of voice that was meant to be, if it was meant to be an old lady voice or what, but not digging it, man. Definitely was not doing it for me. I'm assuming at some point we're going to get into more like uh, action-y type of elements, right? I'm assuming it's not going to be just collecting things the entire time. Okay, so we got a uh, overworld map here. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... Oh, did we not? I was trying to save. Yeah, save. New save. Yes, save. A lot of prompts just for a single save file. Holy crap. Okay, so level data, best score, Yggdrasil, what is that? What has that got to do with anything? Gertie's hut, okay, well let's just go here then, uh, whatever. I don't know what the hell we're doing. I'm just doing things. Hoping for the best. Loading screens always kill me, man. I don't... <laughs> I'm just an impatient person. At least they give us a little bit of nice artwork to look at. You know, it's a couple cute little birds. The, the sun is shining there over... I'm assuming that's Gertie's hut. Is Herdy his dad? Or is that like a family name? Or why is it Herdy Gertie? Is it because they're herders? <laughs> or did somebody Herdy get Gertie Sr.? <laughs> okay... Whoa there, fella. What's the rush? I gotta find Grandma. My dad won't wake up. Oh, sounds serious. Maybe I can be of some help. I know everything there Bruh. is to know about this. I'm just guy. really hoping this kid's dad isn't dead. <laughs> like, now, that's not, that's not what I'm ready for right now. Now, 
you see some little kid just being like dude my dad won't wake up this is not what i want to be doing at the moment yeah, <laughs> smoke coming out of the chimney well that's grandma's cottage thank you i've got to go see her right away you're welcome young lad maybe i'll see you around we have talking animals that's always good that's way too dark for this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's what's going on here. But the whole vibe of this so far is, like, pretty light and and, and uh, easygoing. But at the same time, like, bro, that, <laughs> that actually does sound pretty serious there, man. Like, uh, maybe that old lady that brought us to the village here or whatever. Maybe she could have helped us or something. I don't know. Sorry, the inner completionist in me is telling me I have to check all the way over here where there's nothing. Just to make sure there's nothing. <laughs> I hope so too, Nate. I hope so too, man. <laughs> well, the picture on the case when you go, it didn't look light, so never know. Yeah, I mean, I do have... This is a complete in-box game that I have, so I have seen that. And I think I may have Googled it at some point to see like a YouTube video or something of it. But this isn't anything like what I thought it was. So maybe it just changes a lot later on. I don't, I don't know to be honest. Okay, I think we need to zoom in a little bit here at least. All right, come on, we, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get along with it. I'm uh, too much time exploring here. Hey. Hello. I'm not sure how. That's the easy part. Just go over to them and press the circle button. Got that? We can press her circle button. Hey, there you go. Wanna come play? No. Maybe later. No, I don't. <laughs> Just no. What are we collecting bells for, anyways? Is this like currency in this weird? Is this medieval? I don't. I don't know what time period you would call this. Hi there. Oh, hello. I sometimes come here to get some milk from Grandma. <laughs> I'd best be off. My dad's waiting back in the valley. Oh, you're from the valley? I've heard that there are lots of creatures there this time of year. Yes, there are. It's nice when they all come back after hibernation. It can get a little noisy, though. That's when I like to go to the daisy patch. It's so peaceful there. I can just sit and let the day pass by. I'd better be going. Bye. Okay. So, Valley Girl doesn't really tell us anything useful. A folksy time period? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely folksy. It's medieval-esque, I guess. Maybe at some point it'll, uh... We'll start getting some, some knights in shining armor and shit. And then it'll be true medieval. <laughs> Hello, old man. What you doing? Some... Sometimes it's best to just sit back and think. Watch the clouds go by. Listen to the birds. Huh. The strangest things just come to you when you just think. See, at some periods, like whenever we were talking to that dude, it almost makes me think like Disney-esque or something. But then other times, not so much. Medieval folksy mountain village, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say it was probably inspired by a medieval time period, but not necessarily, you know, set in one. You come to admire me prize cat. Yep, that's exactly what we came for. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You'll find better milk anywhere on this island. Do you want to know my secret? Well, okay, here it is. I keep them as happy as I can. The happier they are, the better their milk tastes. What are you doing around here, anyway? You look like a kid who likes adventure. Hey. I'll let you into a little secret. There are 100 bells on each level. If you manage okay, to that's actually useful information. I 
I've heard you get a giant bell. Doesn't that sound amazing? What can we do with I the giant bell, though? Those big special bells around my cow's necks would make them even happier, don't you? I'll tell you what. If you get me some of those special bells, I'll open up some extras on the main menu, telling you. Oh, uh, okay. Together. How about so it's a devlog. Sure, why not? So right. collect a hundred bells, unlock part of a devlog. That's neat. Bells, I want first refusal. Good luck, kid. I don't. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, I don't know if. Uh... A devlog is enough for me to want to complete the entire game, like 100%, but I guess that really comes down to how much I enjoy the game. Hmm. Who's that? Where are you? It's me. It's me, Grandma. Gertie, is that you? Oh, I can't see a thing without my glasses. Just wait one moment. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> wrong, my boy. Yeah, definitely my Disney dad, ask man in some ways. I can't wake him. Oh dear. That's not good at all. No shit, Granny. Quickly. You must go and see you Dradzil. At the clearing over there. Yggdrasil, what is that from? That's lost. from some sort of uh, hurry. There's not a mythos, right? Is it is it Nordic or or what is that from? Yggdrasil is how I always thought it was pronounced, but I guess uh, I guess I'm wrong. Yggdrasil, <laughs> it just doesn't sound right to me. I guess we're going this way. Yeah, we're following the woodpeckers, but what's over here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. I have to, I feel like I have to always go the wrong way. I have to see what else there is, man. I have to explore all the, the all the unknown. It is Nordic? I thought so. Oh, are we being yelled at? For going the wrong way? <laughs> hey, that gypsy up there will take you to Valley Floor if you ask her nicely. But it looks like such a long way up. Hmm, you could be right. Looks like the only way you're gonna get up there is if you get a pair of magic boots. I've heard that there's a pair somewhere oh, on this Lord. level. Have you met young Sarah? She might be able to help. I'll see you around. So instead of just like letting us figure it out or whatever, it's just coming right out and saying like, hey, can't get up here until you get this specific item that we're gonna tell you. Oh, you don't know how to get that item? Talk to this person. She can probably tell you how to get it. Hey, come on, man. Let's just figure it out for ourselves. We're not that useless. Geeked yourselves fancy way of saying world tree? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought so. That's why I thought it was Nordic. Like, I, I thought I had heard that before, but my memory is not always the best, so I thought maybe I could be wrong. So, like, do we need these boots to do other stuff, or... No, because... Otherwise, I guess there's really no reason to go exploring in this town, unless we do want to get all 100 bells or whatever. Not particularly bothered with that at the moment, to be honest, but... It doesn't seem like we can get up to this house, unless... Oh, yeah, no, okay, there's no ladder. So I don't think there's anything we can do here, at least not now. Maybe once we get the magic boots. Then maybe we can just jump up there or something. Uh -huh. Alright, we'll go the way we're actually supposed to go. It's weird, you like slow down whenever you, you jump. Like in, I'm used to in most games just being able to like jump constantly and have no penalty. But in this one, it seems like, yeah, if you jump, it seems like you move much, much slower. You got super into that mythos because of the game Too Human when you were in your teens. That and Greek mythos. Too Human, that sounds familiar. What is, uh, what's that about, if you don't mind me asking? So it sounds super familiar, but I can't think of what it is. For one reason or another. 
giant arrow telling us where to go. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's leave this area. <laughs> I really like the art. Whoever did that, if it was Eidos or uh, someone else, whoever it was, they did a good job on that. It looks nice, man. A somewhat timeless sort of uh, art style as well, you know? Is this a wizard or something? I mean, we got a, a gypsy and old granny. I feel like there needs to be a, wi a wizard somewhere. Now, up the stairs, we have much to discuss. Just watching. It's not going to be a human, is it? It's gonna be something else. Please, please sit down. A mouse. What's it gonna be? A frog? It's a frog. No, wait, no. Is that what is that? Is not a human. What is that? <laughs> what the hell? This book contains the history of this island since its creation. Okay. I, not even gonna introduce yourself or anything just gonna start talking about your book they were the creators of all we see around us today they created the essence of life itself and placed it into a single seed the legend oh. of the first acorn that's what gives sedorf his power <laughs> i see you've heard this tale before hmm? My dad used to tell it to me when I was younger. And you would like to hear him tell it to you again? Yes. Yes. He's sleeping and I can't wake him up. <laughs> ah, yes. You see, Sadov couldn't risk the acorn in the tournament, so he placed a spell upon the one who might defeat him. Dad? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is this, man? Away. What? You must take his place. Mm -hmm. You so must defeat Sadov. Our dad is the savior of the world, Time destined to beat Sadov, whoever the hell that is. But because Sadov put him to sleep, now we have to do it. I am super confused. I have no idea what the hell is going on here. I'm going to teach you the basics of adding. No. <laughs> it's called a bed. And we have to herd <laughs> to, to gain tools. power? Now, the idea is simple. You must round up the dupes and get them into the pen. But how do I get them into the pen? I'm so confused. To herd dupes. This makes no sense at all. They are quite scared creatures. Why are we herding? How the hell does herding things make us stronger more likely to beat this sadoff or whatever the hell he is is that the competition who can herd the best maybe that's the competition is that a norse thing i don't know beat yggdrasil's time what the hell and nate says uh oh the clock's running i guess you're the norse god balder in a techie armageddon norse world it's rather fun but has a kind of weird combat system okay all right so I guess we just need to round up the dupes. Because... Because <laughs> that's a thing. They're not chickens. God forbid we just have some chickens or something, man. No, we gotta, we gotta round up the dupes. Hey, yo, where the dupes at? Seriously, though. Oh, there they are. Same time we're lost, just follow the bells. That makes sense. Okay, so it, it's showing us how many we have in the herd at any given time. That's kind of handy. So at least we know like how many we have control over currently. Okay. So far, so good. 
I, I still don't know how exactly this helps us do anything. But you know what? It's fine. We'll take it. There you go, man. We did it. It took one-fifth the time that old man Yggdrasil took. <laughs> that wasn't too difficult, was it? I see the beginnings of a great shepherd in you. This here will help you along the way. This is a shepherd's instrument. Its musical bells can calm many a creature. Hey, thank you, Mr. Noodle, for the five bits. I appreciate you, love. But I don't know if I can even reach the tournament. You must Had to look up Wiki for a reminder of some specifics. You are Balder, the Norse god, as portrayed cybernetically enhanced being. You are protecting humanity from Loki's army of robots, has guns and swords. What? That's not this game, though. You're talking about too human, right? And good luck. Okay, so our dad is destined to forever sleep unless we can herd chickens. <laughs> Look, at least the game's got some pretty art. Yes, too human. I, I assume that's what you were talking about, yeah. I was like, there's no way he's talking about freaking hurdy-gurdy here. That <laughs> Wait, what? Ooh, what did pressing... Square, dude. Did I miss something? <laughs> okay, we have a stick. But we put the stick in the ground and... And it smokes a little bit. And releases music? I am confused. <laughs> I do not know what's going on. I should have paid more attention whenever the dude was talking, maybe. Forever sleep is another term for death. Well, yeah, I, I get that much. <laughs> What was that emoji that you sent, Mr. Noodle? Was that an alien? Spoopy. This is a weird, like, mix of Disney and... So I don't know what it is. Like, there's something else that feels familiar about it, right? A brain hey, slug? <laughs> what the hell? Man. Okay. Wow. Is that a hurting stick you've got there? It's a herding hey, you stick. Must be some kind of herder to have one of those. Yep, we're herdy gurdy, all right. Well, actually, I haven't used it yet. I mean, I have You've twice. Be kidding me. You've got but... a herding stick and you haven't used it yet? No, I I have. I've used it twice. That one out. Okay, let me see. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Place yes, I see the chickens. That patch of grass there. God, the all you gotta do is herd them near, and they'll automatically go to the music it makes. Easy. Go to the music it sure. makes. Okay. What? What? What is going on, man? <laughs> I just, I do not understand why. This has got to be some sort of, like, North Norse mythology or something. It has to all fit together somehow. Right? Alright, so I just go over here and go to the patch of grass. Pop this down. And then... Okay. So now they're all at the music, but what's that do for me, right? Because I can't move them or anything while they're here. So is that just a way to keep them all trapped? Uh, can I pick it back up? Yeah. The dupes are cute at least, I'll give them that much. Two Human was supposed to be a trilogy and would have been a lot better. But... Oh, sorry. Trying to, trying to hurt dupes, man. Come on, dupes. Get with your get with your dupe friends. Other way, other way. Nope. There you go. Good job. Good job. All dupes must follow orders. Thank you. Ah, oh, dude, they say dupe whenever they move. I doubt you guys can hear it, but they're going dupe, dupe, dupe. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Two Human was supposed to be a trilogy and would have got a lot better, but never happened due to lawsuits over the game engine. I gotcha. 
Just had to mention Forever Sleep because of earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, the, the old man Yggdrasil or whoever that was told us to stop in with grand grandma. So, uh, we'll go talk to granny, I guess. I'm assuming in order to get these magic boots, Sarah's going to make us hurt something. I'm just calling it now. I think that's what's going to happen. I don't know for sure. We could be wrong. But I think we might end up hurting something in this game. <laughs> So far, the main game loop is kind of a letdown. <laughs> I'm just being honest here, right? Visually, very nice, man. Control-wise, eh, could use a little bit of work. But if all we're going to be doing the whole time is just getting behind some dupes and pushing them into a cage, then I don't know. I mean, maybe they can find some fun, puzzly way to make it work, but it uh, it's seeming a little a little too basic here. You have to make sure he stays forever asleep for the boots. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so you saying if our dad wakes up, we don't get boots? We have to be barefoot forever? Bruh. That doesn't sound like a healthy relationship we have with our dad there. Oh, hello again, Gertie. Hi, Granny. Have you been to see you yet? Yep. Yep. He told me what I've got to do now. Oh, he is very wise, you know. There aren't many as old and wise as he is, you know. Oh, I know some of these youngsters think that I'm as old as this very island. But to be quite truthful, I'm actually quite young. <laughs> Where are you, Granny? 103? Huh? Oh, uh? God, I hate it. I hate it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I can't. I can't, man. Tell Sarah to come home. <laughs> the miller, I'd give him some of our prize milk. You know, oh. man's milk actually makes you more magical. Doesn't that sound splendid? Uh huh. If yep. only this was as nice a place as that, I'd be filthy rich by now. <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh yes. She's Man, I don't even. Clearing near the. I don't even know what to say. If you could just. I can see why this game was in the bargain bin. <laughs> I can say that much, man. <laughs> it's so dumb. It's so dumb. <laughs> I just, like... It feels like it should be a uh, Zelda-esque game or something, right? The nice big open levels with exploration, some puzzle-solving elements. Like, it seems perfect for, like, a Zelda-like, but then we have whatever the hell this oh, is. Give me a push. Uh, push? Push? Can I, can I hit you with a stick? I don't know how to push uh. you. I would, I would push you, but all I can do is put the stick in the ground, you see? <laughs> That's all I know how to do. I'm a herder, not a pusher, so... <laughs> I guess one thing we could probably do with the stick is... Like, if we herd things close to it, I assume they'll be attracted to it more. So it'd give us a larger radius to get things into a, to a pen or whatever. Right? That's the only thing I can think to do with it. Well, I'll hit with stick. <laughs> Look, man, I don't know. She wanted me to push her. How else was I supposed to push her? Alright, there's Granny. Clearing by the waterfall. Okay. Over in the clearing. By the waterfall. So I don't see any water over here. So I don't think it's this way. There was the top part, part up here. Wasn't there a uh, waterfall up here or something? Or maybe this is... I can hear the water again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah okay, so there's this. That's not really... I think we're at the top of the waterfall now, maybe? Let's, uh, let's check the map, right? We got the map. Press, uh, press left on that. There we are. 
What are the stars on the map? Is there like a legend or something we can look at? Oh, okay, we can zoom in and out. That's kind of handy, I guess. Okay, so we're the yellow thingy there in the middle, right? So according to this, we need to go... What? Is that back to town? I'm confused. What's the red dot? Because the green arrows, those are the ways out of here. I'm pretty sure. So maybe the red's where we need to go? Question mark? I have absolutely no clue. That's grandma, isn't it? From the looks over here, I'm going to say that's probably grandma. Because she's right around the corner here. Ooh, or not. Or not. Oh, uh, no shit. That's where Yggdrasil is. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm like spending more time looking at the map than I am the actual <laughs> game here. So I'm getting a little confused on where everything is. Why is, uh... Why is this one glowing? Ah, oh, we can't get the last bell. We need the freaking boots. Sarah, where are you? We need you to come home, please. So you can give us some boots and apparently some milk that'll make us more magical or something because reasons. I'm now only 386 points from goal. I saw that, man. Yeah, it didn't pop up right away for me for some reason whenever you donated the points earlier, but I did see that, uh, like, it, it popped up for me eventually, so I was able to see exactly how many points I was away, and I saw that. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, we are very close. And then, uh, it's also have to find a day to do it, and that could take a little while. But once I find a way to do it, yeah, we'll definitely be playing Halo, or not Halo. Uh, maybe some Halo, depending who's all available that day. So I wouldn't mind doing that with, uh, some friends like I did before Halo Infinite. Y'all can see just how bad I am at the game. Uh, but no, not Halo. Fable is what I was meaning to say. We'll play some Fable and probably one or two PS2 games like we've been doing and uh, a lot of Lord of the Rings because I want to complete that game and I'm not getting tired of it or anything, not at all, don't get me wrong, but I'm wanting to move on to other stuff, other PS2 games, uh, possibly, quite possibly Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank is sounding like an excellent option. You did another 120 just now? Oh man, I didn't even notice. That's weird, it hasn't popped up for me for some reason. That you did another 120, but thank you anyways, man. Yeah, thank you very much. You have to rack up points for the actual stream you're currently at zero. <laughs> oh no, you spent them all. That's all right, I gotta get all you guys resets. That way whenever I do the, uh, the next challenge, it'll be an actual challenge. <laughs> Can't have you just donating 2,000 points a day, man. Come on. <laughs> now I'm just playing with you, of course. Thank you, Nate. Thank you, bud. I have to, uh, I have to talk to Jonathan, because like I said, the next challenge that I, that I want to do includes him. So, we need to get him pulled in. Is this Sarah? Why are you screaming? Doop, 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 doop. Hi, Sarah. What you doing? No, oh, my lord. Doop. <laughs> please, please, get them away from me. Okay, I no hope problem. You guys can hear them. And just going doop, 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 doop. <laughs> like, it's... Oh, wait. Okay, so we can't put the stick down in there? Why can't we put the stick down in there, I wonder? I mean, not that it really seems to matter. It's it's pretty easy to get them all together without it. Like, I don't feel like we really needed the, uh, <laughs> the stick, oh, but whatever. You, I guess maybe it made it a little bit easier. Nothing. Oh, your grandmother sent me to find you. I'd better get back home. Yeah, yeah, Jonathan's a lot of fun to play with, man. I think he'll be a great uh, addition to a, a stream. That's a... I wish our schedules, mine and his, lined up a little bit more, because that's something we've talked about doing anyways, is streams similar to, to this, but 
with with other people at the same time like not necessarily a multiplayer game a single player game but with two people kind of hosting kind of like uh, one reacting and just bantering and whatnot while the other person plays and, and banters back that sort of deal we've talked about trying out that sort of format before but time time is tough you know but uh yeah that's the sort of thing that i would like to kind of look into as a, a challenge stream but we have a couple different ideas of things we could potentially do me and him for for a challenge we just got to uh work out our schedules and things before we uh before we say for sure that we're gonna do it's kind of what you're aiming for whenever your brother or others hop on yeah yeah yeah, yeah. my only piece of advice there would be be careful to have like too many in jokes or not to have too many in jokes or anything like that because uh that could that could uh scare some people away and also mr noodle just donated the last 886 points for the 12 hour stream thank you so much love we will be doing that i guess soon a lot quicker than i uh, expected you guys to hit it to be honest but here we are that's awesome yeah so we'll be doing uh we'll be doing fable like i said before we'll be doing some of that for sure because nate's been requesting that for a while um man what other games i'm thinking maybe inuyasha and the secret of the cursed mask because that's a game that i've really been wanting to play and then a handful of sports titles probably just to kind of get those out of the way we'll probably do those ones maybe first just so that they're uh, out of the way early and we can move on to bigger better things as more and more people file in um and then to, do we just get the ps2 stuff out of the way first i don't know i don't know I'll, I'll announce exactly what games and everything you know a little bit at time before we actually do it but yeah thank you mr noodle that's awesome and uh definitely the next challenge that i do is going to be a lot more points because <laughs> you guys have gone above and beyond with it man very nice also, this jump feels so much better now that we have the high jump ability. Like, a lot better. The camera's still a little too stiff, like a little too locked to the character. So it's a little too jerky moving around and everything, but oh man, does that feel better. I see you've got the hang of jumping. It's time for you to move on now. You should go and see the gypsy at the end of the village to open the route up to Valley Floor. All right. I uh I hate when games tell you exactly what map. to do constantly. The gypsy is. Remember the map button is left. Like we already knew that we had to find the gypsy. We knew where the gypsy was. We knew we needed the boats to boots, sorry, to get to the gypsy. To just just let us just figure it out on our own, you know? We're not completely helpless. But oh well, I suppose. Uh, what? <laughs> what just happened? Oh, this guy. It helps to look at things from a different point of view every now and again. You should try, you know. Look, okay. It's simple. If you want to look around, just click down on the left analog stick when you're standing still. This is a good way to find things or get your bearings. There's a great method that herders use to change view. Simply press down on the right analog stick. There's okay. A close in view, a standard yep. view. Yep. Yep. And a special shepherd's view. Oh, a, a special shepherd's view. Things. Okay, we'll we'll so keep that in mind, old man. Analog stick down to switch modes. Okay, we're skipping this. <laughs> Don't care. Bang. Yep. Don't. Yep. <laughs> Don't mention a kid. Seriously, don't. Okay. Maybe don't I'll freaking tell anybody I told you this great. stuff. You tell anyone, I'm going to murder you. That's what that's what that dude was just telling us. Those were the vibes he was giving off. Like, damn, bro, chill. All right, so we need to go find the uh, what you call it, lady now. Which I admit I have completely forgotten where she's at. So. Let's see here. She was down this way somewhere. Maybe. Uh, okay, not over there. We came from over there. 
Sounds good. And yeah, I won't have to worry too much about in jokes. Mainly have someone that has a different play style than me to help with talking points and perspectives on certain games. Because like Fable, for instance, you have a hard time ever doing an actual evil playthrough. You go for long range, a lot of stuff to, so to get a full appreciation of it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different point of views are always nice for things like that. I couldn't agree more. And I think it'll help a lot, especially early on, having somebody to banter against. Right? Because whenever you're streaming or making YouTube videos or something like that, you want to be talking. Just about stuff all the time. Just talking and interacting. And having another person to, to talk and banter with, I think, will be a big help with for you early on. I can't push you, lady. I don't know what you want from me. I can't do it. I don't know how to push. Okay, so it wasn't over here, right? Or was it? No, 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 it wasn't over here. This is where, this is where we found the boots, the, the Sarah with the boots. Yeah, that's, that's Sarah with the boots. So we don't need to go over here. If you jump before going into a loading zone, it kind of glitches a little bit. I don't know if anybody else has noticed that. If the game audio is loud enough for that to even come through, but it, yeah. <laughs> it just randomly does uh, like three jumping sounds back to back. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little weird. Alright, so she's right there. I want to check out the hut real quick. I don't think there's anything we'll actually be able to do up here at the hut. But like, why is it so far up without any ladder or anything going up to it? It's got to be... I'm guessing it's meant to just look abandoned. But it would be cool if we could like go inside and, and just interact with it some way or something. No, it looks like even with the boots, we can't jump up that high. Man, that's too bad. Missed opportunity. That could have been something fun. A little Easter egg or something, you know? Get up there and just uh, have a little have a little area to, to do... I don't know. Do hurdy-gurdy things? <laughs> I don't know. What, what, do, what, do, what do herders do in their free time? Right? What do they do to unwind to have fun? All right, how did the gypsy get over here? Does she got some special magic boots too? Would you like to go to Valley Floor? Yes. Yes, we would like to go to Valley Floor, weird voice actor lady. They sleep and dream of hurting. All right then, yeah, give us a bed up there, man. Some sheep to count or something, you know? Like shit, just... <laughs> no, it would have just been neat. I think that was a, a cool place to have a, a Easter egg of some sort. And uh, they don't. It's disappointing. Disappointing. All right, we are not going to call it quits for this game yet. We are going to play at least a little bit more. I'm going to give it like a, probably another half hour here, give or take, but it has been roughly an hour, so I need to take a quick break, stretch out my legs, give my voice a tiny bit of a rest. So we're going to give it a just a quick like two, three minute break while I stretch out and everything, and then we'll be uh, right back with more <laughs> hurdy-gurdy, I guess. <laughs> Get the ad out of the way too, of course, while this is going. You agree? Yeah, 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 yeah. but I think that's just more to do with the animation than anything. All right, so we got those two things. The... Are these... These are just birds. Okay. I remember, like, nothing about this game from when I played it when I was younger. The only thing I remember about this game is the fact that I played it when I was younger. Like, <laughs> nothing else. The movement feels a little bit weird. Huh. I don't know. I think I'll get used to that, though. Doesn't seem that bad. Just... Little imprecise, maybe. And I think 
you'll find most animals to be helpful in some way or another. Okay. If you come across an animal, you should experiment with it to learn how it can help you. Some animals can even be ridden. Oh, Why does this voice sound familiar? I know. These fellows are great for breaking things into little tiny pieces. Go ahead and jump on board. If you want him to speed up, try giving him a swat with your club. <laughs> so we just hop on a rhino's back and smack it every time it's not moving fast enough? Yeah, that seems perfectly reasonable. Ah, just take a nice leisurely stroll here. And then just give it a whack. <laughs> Okay, we can't seem to make it speed up, like, twice. Like, this is the max speed. And then, can we make it slow down? Nope, doesn't seem like it. <laughs> okay. So, it's kind of like kind of like Donkey Kong. You just keep riding on it until it decides to stop. Sort of deal. That's fair enough. We got a, a feather thingy. I don't remember what the feathers are for, but we got one. Oh, we got a bunch. Okay. So we probably could have broke that open with the rhinoceros, maybe, and then picked it up, but... Okay, it seems like we don't really gain much momentum in the air. Seems like once we start a jump, we're kind of stuck with the power however we were jumping. Yeah, that's probably why the movement felt a little bit weird to me. I'm just used to playing otherwise. Might be one of those okay. Maxers, maybe that might be what I'm thinking of. I have no clue though. All stretched out, all loose. I think we're pretty much ready to go here. I was taking a, a quick look at the I list the of Pinata's games really that I've collected and whatnot so far too, <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I mentioned, but we've it's crossed like the one percent milestone for number of games streamed. It's not a, a huge number of games, you know, 1%, but it feels good to pass a solid number like that, a uh, a full number like that, you know? 1%. That is, uh, I don't know how many games exactly for 1%, but we have done, what, 19 games, give or take, that we stream, maybe 20? So, uh... Like I said, not a not a huge number of them, but still, a uh, it feels good to pass a solid number like that. Hey, I don't I don't know how to say your name. Uh, <laughs> XYXSR, thank you for joining, and thanks for the follow as well. Appreciate that. But yeah, we uh, I was like I said, I was looking at the list there. We just passed a roughly one percent of games. It's actually like one point. What was it? I, I still got the list up over here. I can check. Uh, 1.12% of games, including this one that we have now streamed. And, uh, passing a solid number like that just feels good, you know? 20 games down and only, what, 1,700 some more to go? <laughs> so, uh, still, still, still one or two more to go. But we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. It's been fun. There's a lot of games that I never would have played, like, uh, probably Hurdy Gurdy, you know? I've had this one sitting around now at the house. I must have bought this one from a bargain bin like oh, I don't even know, man, a year ago almost or something and never got around to playing it, giving it a try. From here, you can get to all sorts of different places simply by talking to the gypsies around the place. It's your favorite wow, game, really? Awesome, man. Hmm. Well, some I'm a little uh here. I'm a little iffy about the game mechanics, but obviously I'm still very early in the game. So we're, we're you know, an hour in. I, I just started playing it roughly an hour ago. Is this give or take how the whole game plays out? Or do game mechanics change a little bit more later on? I, I'm very curious about that, to be honest with you. But the, the setting, the world, and the art is all very interesting. Like, I, I really like the look of the game. It looks awesome. The game evolves with the instruments as you continue. Okay. Okay. But they're pink. Pink grumps. Pink fluffy exteriors. They have an enormous appetite, and they're not particular about what they eat. If any of your creatures wander too close, they'll surely be eaten. Also, watch his right hand. That so adding some sort of like puzzle elements to it, it seems like here. 
We got to keep anything that we're trying to herd away from Groms, or the Groms will eat the the dupes. Get him to chase you. Not pen the Grom near the dupe pens. <laughs> Are these like special traps. the dupes and gromps and things? Are those like real words from other languages or something? Or is that just. I, I'm very confused. Is that just things they made up for all these uh, different creatures? Because the names just sound so funny to me, but. You think it's Nordic? I mean, that would make sense given, you know, the, the rest of the game. The Yggdrasil and, uh, and all that. So I, I could see it being Nordic, but yeah. To, to somebody like me, you know, only really speaks English. It, it, just, it sounds a bit funny. <laughs> All right, so we got the we got the dupes, but then we we got the grump. So what is? Oh, okay, nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man, I did not expect him to uh, to chase us down that fast. Um. Yeah, so we, we kind of penned the Gromp right next to the pen for the dupes. So exactly what we shouldn't have done. <laughs> but that's okay. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can get them all to go around somehow. So they can't go that way. Because of uh because of that fence there. But we can probably get these ones here around this back side. Get them all to go in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. That'll work. Or no, it won't. Oh, I see. Was that like a fishing pole? What? That's cool. All right, so we have to get 11. So if we're fast enough, maybe we can still beat the level. Because there's, there's 10 here. Okay, so there just needs to be one left over there, right? I thought it would only be like when they're moving around the Gromp. I didn't realize that he would steal them from the pen. Okay. So we got them in there, but did we win? <laughs> it's good to see you've gotten this far. With all that stuff you've got, you're starting to look like a real herder. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah, sure. But it takes a lot more than fancy footwork and magical instruments to become a great herder. You need to know the basics first, and I'm just the fella to tell you. Oh, right well, thank then. you. This thing here shows your progress for the area you're in. You can check on your progress by pressing the select button. Okay. Now, if you look, there's you and one of those nasty grumps. Oh, you see those locks there? Well, those show the amount of I like how they even play with the subtitles back. here. The game's got a lot of style. A lot of style. It's very nice. Now, the more creatures you successfully herd, the better you're doing and the more progress you make. But if any of your creatures die, the Gromp will chomp along the bar. And once he's eaten a lock, it means you can no longer access the next area. Don't give up, though. You can always have another try if the... Okay, that makes... Yep, this all makes sense. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. How this was the the Tomb Raider, Laura Croft, uh, or Tomb Raider developer. Laura Croft even shows up. No, really, that's interesting. Okay, I did not expect that. I admit. To be honest, though, I didn't realize this was the same developer that made the older Tomb Raider games. I was thinking it was the one that just did the newer ones. Um, but I guess that's the, the same company that did the older ones and the newer ones then. Okay, so we need to find somewhere where we can pen that grump up at. Before we get the dupes to go in. There's a bunch of pens around here. There's got to be a, a grump thing somewhere. Can he come through here? No, okay. So he's too, too big, I guess, to fit through there is the idea. That's fair. All right, here's a a pen for one. Where's he coming from? There he is. So we'll go ahead and get him locked up in here, and then we'll just work them around it, maybe? I think that'll be okay. I think we can work with this. Let's get them to go just way around that dude. 
and then herd them right over. How many do we have to get here? We have to get, what's that say? Does that say 11? Oh, it updates as we get more in there. That's nice. Okay, so no, it must have said 15 because it says 10 now. But there's all of these ones over here. So uh, how many are over here? 10, hopefully. Maybe, if we're lucky. Oh, no, there's got to be more than 10. This looks like a bunch, man. 14, 15, 16. Maybe this would be a good time to use the flute to try to get everybody together. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, looks like we got them all. I think we got them all together anyways. Oh, oh, one's trying to escape. Nope, nope. Where are you, where are you going? Go that way. Go, go that way. Thank you. <laughs> that one did not want to cooperate. It's a very interesting concept for a game. I gotta say that much. I wonder what it is that, uh, like, what were they thinking, right? When they came up with this. Is, is herding, are there, like, some sort of Nordic stories about, about herding? Because I know, like, Yggdrasil was telling us this whole story from the book. So I assume that has something, like, is based in actual Nordic mythology in some way, right? Because if that's the case, then maybe, maybe what we're doing is just playing through some sort of Nordic folktale, like the entire game. It's a weird one if that's the case, but I, I mean, I guess to, to non-Americans, uh, our folktales would probably sound a bit strange as well. I'd say you could do the rest. You've already met my cousin Moly, who knows all about different parts of the Is his name, name Holy? I kinda hope his name's Holy. I want Holy and Moly. Wow, that really helped. Before you start saving all over the place, I'd like to get a couple of things sorted. Okay. Okay. Firstly, I can only remember a little bit at a time, so one quick save is all you get. If you quick save here, so if we screw up the puzzle, then we can. I'm afraid I can only remember. We can kind of uh go back to the last point or whatever in case we screw up. That makes it. That makes uh. That makes sense. That helps. Proper saves before we go into a level. All pretty standard stuff. I mean, yeah, we might as well. I don't see any reason not to. I don't think we've screwed anything up yet. Alright. Yeah, I mean, first impressions of the game, I was talking about them a little bit earlier. And uh, I, I like the art style, I like the music. It controls fairly well, although I do think it could use a little bit of work in that department. The camera just feels way too sensitive to me, and I don't like quite how it's stuck behind the player character, right? But it's not bad, you know? I just hope that there's more added to the puzzle elements. Because as of... Uh, what I've done so far, it just seemed a little, little too simplistic. But I, I like the addition of the Gromps here. I think uh, will help out a lot in that regard, honestly. Um, and whatever that thing is up there, what was that purple thing? I right, get him out of the way here. Okay, I guess we can't go in that. I thought that one was uh, shallow enough that maybe we could go in there, but we definitely cannot. What is this purple thing, though? It looks like a, a purple monkey with a, a lizard's tail. What? <laughs> Hello. Can we talk to you? No? Do you like music? No, you don't seem to care. Okay. Maybe we'll figure out something about that later. I have no clue. <laughs> okay, that looks shallow. Yeah, yeah. All right, so there's got to be more around here somewhere, right? Because we haven't unlocked it yet. So there's got to be more chickens. There was the other coop over in this area. We saw that before we, we came over here, but I didn't see any more dupes to put in the, the cage. Hence why I came over here. 
Hoping I could find some. There's what I'm going to call holy until I am told otherwise. What is... Because that one's got a picture of a dupe on it. This one does not. Oh, wait, okay, this has actually got a picture of that purple thing. So do we have to get that in here? Oh. And there's eight of them, apparently? I've seen one so far. Am I that blind? <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, well... What is this tree? Oh. I guess we met the tree. Trying to herd. I'm on my way to the great tournament. I am going to defeat Sador. What? You win the great tournament? Defeat Sador? <laughs> you don't have to laugh now. Wow. That's a little rude. I'm gonna show you, bro. Alright? Okay, well, we might not be able to do that just yet. Oh, you could? Come on then, kid. Give it up. The mighty stream, not just any stream. It's the mighty stream. Yeah, I don't I don't think we can uh I don't think we can make that jump. <laughs> uh nope. <laughs> Okay, so I'm assuming we are going to get something that will let us swim, since we also saw those bells inside a stream, uh, and we had no way of collecting them without just kind of dying every time we do, so... Alright, but also, we saw that purple thing over here. Can we do anything with you? You don't seem to herd the way the others do. So do we need to... Maybe we need to learn more about that. Would you like to go to... Hey, Mr. Noodle. With your smork? <laughs> what? <laughs> do you just uh, scroll through all of the different emotes, just picking random ones? Just whatever catches your eye? That's kind of what it looks like. With your, your cheer walls and your, your smorks, apparently. <laughs> what was the, the other one you did? Brain slug? That's, that's a lying no. That's definitely a lying no. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. So we're going way up here. Do you want to save your pro? Yeah, of course. We'll, we'll save. Uh, yeah, valley floor. Cool cat. You wish you were a cool cat. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over here because I, it seems like we can't complete that area yet, I don't think, unless I was completely missing something, which, you know, completely possible, but you are the coolest cat, Mr. Noodle. I was just joking. You're, you're the best. Uh, if these loading screens have anything to do with the areas that we're, we're going to, then I think maybe there's a chance we'll learn something about these, these purple things that seem to be crossed with robots or something. Cause that, that looks like a mechanical tail out of its hind end there, <laughs> unless it's just got a weird way of drawing the tails on the, uh, on the loading screen here. So we got mid mirror now, huh? This looks a uh, town like kind of cool. Can we not be so close behind our back? Maybe? Nope. Guess that's not an option. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. It zoomed out a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, what? Oh no. Is this a maze? Okay, well, that wasn't that bad, actually. <laughs> I got a little scared when we hit that dead end. Hello there, Gertie. I am Skyper. Don't those creatures bother you? They bother me greatly, my boy. 
I have lived here many, many years and can find no means to be rid of them. Wow. Don't you get hungry just sitting there? Ah, yes. Yes, I do. But every now and again, one of those little devils jumps a little too close. And... Bam! <laughs> Oh no. Hard to swallow. Is it you just eat them raw? I would be most grateful, but you'll need to get the magic flute hidden behind these doors. Oh, so we don't actually have the flute yet. The thing I was calling the flute is not a flute. <laughs> My bad. So are these things gonna like follow us? Are we just gonna, you know, play a tune and they're going to uh waddle along behind us? I'm thinking that's uh, that's what's gonna happen here. So he said behind these doors. Then it showed us some doors opening, but I didn't actually see where that was. So yeah, up here maybe. Uh, platforming section. Okay, sorry, we got this. Just gotta get the camera to cooperate a little bit. Maybe can it zoom out some? Nope. Okay, the camera in this section <laughs> does not like us, obviously. Oh no. Here we go. Oh wait, we can- there's just more bells over here. Hold on. All the bells, please. Oh, that was close. We- we should have fallen off there. That's like a Wily e. Coyote sort of moment, man. We were- we were hanging off the cliff. Okay, so it looks like at some point we're going to be dealing with some more, what were they called again? Grumps? Oh man, the camera in these tight areas is not great. Okay, more of those dudes. Just keep following the bells. I'm sure they'll lead us uh, somewhere, right? Oh, what was, what's that down there? somebody we can talk to oh that's the that's the gypsy okay no we don't want to oh uh, no uh left stick left stick is not there it goes oh <laughs> yes yeah nate a lot of older games i agree have uh, some problems with their cameras so up until this point my only problem with this one was well one i couldn't invert it but that's just you know personal preference reasons i like to have cameras inverted but uh, other than that, it would just seemed a little too too sensitive, a little too stuck to the player. But in this area, at least, yeah, it's very, uh, very tight right up against you. And it's kind of hard to get to move around because of the geometry of the level, I suppose. Okay, let's stay on the ground for now. Maybe, uh, maybe that's what we should be doing. There we go. Let's get the camera moved back out a little bit here. Okay, is these the doors? No. Oh, there's the Gromp, though. All right, we are here, and I'm guessing we want to go to that red area over there, maybe? There is a lot of stuff in this level. There's a lot of stuff in this level. So it's definitely gotten larger, like... The last couple levels appear uh, as if they were just... You know, introductory sort of things. And those are eggs. What are those eggs? Hi, sir. You can just stop right there. Thank you. So again, I'm guessing this is going to be another sort of creature that we can we can herd and deal with at some point. Maybe they go in this tub that apparently needs 16 or something. Uh, not that button. This button. If we are over here, can I think we want to be going over there? Maybe. Just go up these. Uh, go up these stairs. Maybe this is where we want to be going. The UI elements are very large, aren't they? Like, they take up a lot of space on the screen whenever you have them all, all up. Shall I leave this area? And not so many mini map. <laughs> Can you get two Groms to fight each other? That'd be hilarious. 
I kind of want to see that now. Two pink furry bears just throwing hands. That would be great, Nate. I agree. I definitely agree. What is this? Is that a squirrel? <laughs> that was Mr. Noodle earlier. <laughs> it's uh, okay. It's not your fault. What you doing here? This is Midmere. We magicians live here and make potions for people all over the island. <laughs> this this uh but this dude got scared whenever Hurdy Gurdy popped up behind him. Get a magic squirrel. I told you there was gonna be a wizard somewhere, man. I knew there had to be a wizard somewhere in this game. It was just that kind of game. <laughs> oh yeah, tons. I know all the things about magic. Don't listen to my character here. He knows nothing. I've made a magic flute and wanted somewhere to try it out, but now I have to stay here and finish all this work. Magic flute? Yep, all my own work too. Say, you wouldn't like to pit your skills against my flute, would you? Sure. I could do with some practice. How would I pit yes. my skills you against your flute? How does that work? Let's go. Wait, what are what are we doing exactly? Ah, okay, so uh 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 Can we use the flute? How do we how do we switch how do we switch things? Or maybe we just have to Okay, maybe we just have to get the stuff in there, and then we'll unlock the flute later. There we go. That's that's it, right? Nope. Okay. Oh, no, there's more. There's more. There's more. Okay. We got this. We got this. Uh, there's a dude. He's going to eat our stuff. Uh, run away, dupes. Dupes, I need you to run. Not not quite that way. You're, you're running in the... There you go. Beautiful. Perfect. Done. We beat it. Why are there more? What else do we have to... Oh, no. Ah! Oh. We got murdered. We're dead. GG, boys. Game over. <laughs> what else do we have to herd? It's not just the dupes? Hey, then what else? Want another go? Yes. Okay, I should have been paying more attention. Beat Red's time. Okay. So, okay, there's those ones. And then get these guys over here. Come on, come on. Heard you right on in that pen there. Beautiful. And then we just got to grab these ones here. Just go, go right around. Nice and nice and gentle like. Nope, nope. You got to, you got to go the other way. There you go, dupes. Dupes together. Done. GG. That's that's it. What else do we have to herd? Do we have to herd that thing too? Come here, bro. Come this way. Come this way. There you go. Yep. Okay, maybe we do have to herd all of these things too. Come on. Ah, no, no, no. Shoot. But that's okay. That's okay. We don't actually die. We just lose a little bit of time. So that's fine. We can keep going. Uh, okay, bruh. Follow me somewhere. I know not where, but somewhere we shall put you in a cage. I don't know why exactly, but we will, and hopefully you like your cage. Okay, uh, I haven't even seen another cage. So I don't know where we're going to put you at yet. Uh, or you, for that matter. Are they fighting each other? Bro, they are! <laughs> oh man, that's great. They are actually fighting each other. That's perfect. Oh, I love it. What do they do whenever they fight each other? Do they just destroy each other? Okay, so they're they're stunned. But is, does it do anything else? 
Um, I'm still confused. Oh, wait. Does that mean we can't put them in pens now? Oh, no. Oh, no. I bet we had to get them in pens to win, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did one of them just wake up? They did. Okay, so they, like, respawned or something. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Oh, the screen glitched again. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, hopefully my PS2 is not, like, dying. All right, all right, all right. There's one more. One more. We have one minute. I think we got this. We still got a minute. We just got to find out where the hell to pin you at. Um, I don't think it's up here, sadly. Uh, will you follow me over here? You will. We're dead. Bruh, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to have to redo this again. Uh, turn, turn, turn. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. Come up this way again. Run for your life, little hurdy. Run for your life. Run for your life. Not that way. <laughs> that was a dead end. Uh, this way, maybe. Okay, yep. Keep going. Keep going. Nope, nope. This is the same way we went before. We're idiots, that's all. Oh, man, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Uh, okay, this way. This way, maybe. I see one. I only see one. 10-ish seconds left. Um, hello? Right here, right here, right here, right here. Come on, go in. Yes, bruv, with seven seconds. Seven seconds. Six and a half incredible. seconds. You even beat my flute. Barely, nice. bro. Barely. Here, you should have this. <laughs> but are you sure? Bruh. Of course that's we just proved we're better than you, and so you're just going to give us a random flute? A Your magical Thanks. flute, actually, not just even a random flute. So you're going to tell us, like, how to use it now or anything? Or, like... Uh, it's not triangle. It's not circle. There we go. R2, L2. Okay, so we can play music while while moving around. Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing. I'm guessing this is just gonna make those things follow us around. That's gotta be what this is all about. Will he tell us if we talk to him? You want another go? No, no, I don't. I don't feel the need to save right now. I think we just need to go out of here. Yes, leave this area. Very nice. Waiting for the loading. Thankfully, this isn't the longest loading screens, you know. It's uh, it's like, uh, what, about six seconds better than Grand Theft Auto? <laughs> Which, you know, is a thing. And I don't know, man. Grand Theft Auto kills me with just how long their loading screens are, you know? Like, you might as well go make a sandwich, maybe have yourself a nice bowl of soup or something to go with it. You can take a quick nap. <laughs> this is ridiculous how long the loading screens are in that game. Alright, so we got a flute, and we got a magic stick that makes noise when we put it in the ground. Normally, the wizards keep those things <laughs> You do all that other than the nap part? I mean, you gotta try napping. That's the best time to nap. Right? You just you load up Grand Theft Auto, take a nap. By the time you get up, it'll just be finishing that loading screen. It's perfect, man. When you play a tune on the flute, some of the creatures on the island will be drawn to its beautiful sound. That's what I figured. Yep, yep. They can't help but follow you. Wow, that's great. Yes, yeah, so that's that's essentially what I thought that was gonna do. That makes sense. Downside to it. When you play the flute, you won't be able to run as quickly as normal. It leaves you open to attacks. What kind of creatures like its tune? The wizards use flutes to herd the bleeps around here. Bleeps. That makes sense. I should have known they were called bleeps. They are saying bleep over and over again. This game uses the Pokemon mentality to naming things, and you know what, honestly, I appreciate that. I feel like we should name all animals after the sounds they make, you know? Dogs are no longer dogs, they're just borks. <laughs> Cats are just, uh, meows or mews, you know? And, and yeah, yeah, chickens are dupes. <laughs> I mean, 
some some animals may be a little hard to to name after their sounds you know like uh i mean i don't know about you but i i don't personally know what sound a hippopotamus makes <laughs> I mean, i'm sure there's someone out there some uh hippopotamus expert that could that could uh tell us that exactly but uh i i just yeah and you know what you know what if the animals were named after their sounds i would know what a hippopotamus sounds like right now so you know what i don't think this is on me i think this is on whoever decides the names of crap you know they should have just named things after sounds to begin with and then we wouldn't be having this problem i would know what sound a hippopotamus makes because all i'd have to do is say its name i agree with this naming sense but what do we do about the fox that's easy man foxes just scream horribly so <laughs> so so that's 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 all man you just gotta you just gotta scream randomly and that's that's the that's the fox for you so i i can't help but notice that i'm not picking up more bleeps do i have to stop playing and then start playing again or is there a limit it seems like there might be a a limit but it's the sound no one knows. I know what you're doing here. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, bleep 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 bleep. Can we just cheat and like go over here? Will they follow us? Are they are they following us? No, I think they're I think they're stuck. Oh. Oh oh no. I think we lost them, boys. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we got this extra tool here, maybe we can talk to this guy and he'll help us out. No, okay. So, look. I need all of you to follow me. Let's go. Let's just get you away from this old man. There's got to be a pen for you around here somewhere, right? Hopefully, it's relatively close. Is that it? Couldn't pass up the chance for the joke. You're good, man. <laughs> I probably would have done the same on the other end. I <laughs> can't lie. Um, okay, so there's a lot of pens here. But they're all... Inaccessible, it seems like. Okay... Yeah, so how do we... How do we get them in? I like the little chain of, of animals just saying bleep, 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 bleep. It's actually kind of cute. It's one thing you can definitely say about this game. It, it has its flaws, but it is freaking cute, man. Okay, there's a bunch of bleeps. Hi, bleeps. Do you want to uh, go in a pen? Maybe you could tell me where your pen is. Here's one. Here we go. Here's one. Get in here, buds. Yeah. There you are. Okay. So, I don't think that's enough to get the old man to be happy, though. I'm assuming we'll have to get all of them to appease him. Oh. Pop up. Moldy. Okay, I guess. The tournament seems a lot further than I thought, though. Tell me about it. I travel all over this island, and that sure is one long trip you've got. Maybe I can help you out a little. Hmm. What we got here, then? Oh, you see those little Aww. things over there? Well, those fellas are honks. Oh God, honks! <laughs> so we got we got geese then. <laughs> Freaking honks, man! Oh no, I'll tell you. Oh, I uh, I was browsing through Facebook as you do the other day, and I got a random suggestion for a group, right? It was, I don't even remember the name for the group. I ended up joining it too because it was so ridiculous whenever I saw it. Saw it, But it was like Honk Girl Heaven, I think was the name of it. I think that was the actual name of it. 
Honk Girl Heaven. It's a whole page just to show off uh, your your clown cosplay, right? Specifically as a female. It is like... I just... It is such a weirdly specific thing. I couldn't pass it up. I was like, there's no way that's what this is. It can't just be like girls in clown cosplay. And it is. That's that's all the entire thing is. <laughs> and then the the entire page, they were throwing shade at another page that apparently got too like bent out of control or something like that. I don't remember the name of the other one, but it was also all about honk girls. So uh hey, if you're really into clown girl cosplay, then uh yeah, there's there's a Facebook group out there for you. Multiple, it would seem like. <laughs> and for some reason, Facebook thought that's the group I need to be a part of as well. So that's a thing that happened. <laughs> I uh, I joined Co Honk Girl Cosplay or Honk Girl Heaven, man. It recommends things you may like. Look, I've only ever said that I found a, a uh, clown cosplay sexy one time, okay? And I don't even think that counts because it was like an it cosplay, right? Like, <laughs> it was one time, Nate, and that was it. All right. <laughs> That's a true story though. I, I, there, was, I, there was a picture that was going around to somebody in like an it cosplay and like, dude, she looked hot, whatever. Look, you ain't gonna come into my own channel and kink shame me, okay? <laughs> but no, honestly, it, I just, I don't know where it got that idea from. Because that's not the sort of thing that I'm just, like, going around looking at all the time, right? Uh, clown girls. Nothing against it. And I, I, I'll admit, even, there were a couple. Because uh, I, I looked through it, obviously, after, uh, after seeing it the the group and joining it i i looked through a few of them obviously uh the posts and uh there were a couple pretty cute ones in there like i'm not gonna lie it's not like it's not as cringy as i would have expected maybe but there are a lot of them that are pretty damn cringy too <laughs> all right so we we found a stone that we don't have the power to push i'll be honest at this point i have no idea what i'm doing and uh oh there's something in there um but I, 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 I think it's pretty much just time to wrap up the stream, to be honest. So I was just biding some time trying to see what else to do while I was uh, telling my ridiculous <laughs> honk girl story here. Um, <laughs> that was enough for Facebook to think you had a crippling addiction to clown girls. I mean, I do. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. I just spend all day, every day. It's the big red noses that do it for me and the giant shoes, you know? Something about the absolutely massive shoes. I just, I can't control myself, man. Every time I see those size, I don't know, 72s, I just, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't control myself, you know? <laughs> not to, uh, not to kink shame anybody that actually does have a, a clown girl uh, a kink or whatever, you know? Hey, if that's, if that's what you're into, then by all means, man. Or if you yourself are a clown girl, then hey, do your thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you what you should and shouldn't do with your time. I'm just saying. I. Uh, I don't actually think that's that's the thing for me. <laughs> I wish I knew what to do with you bleep bleeps, but I. Uh, I do not. Dude, you joined an anime mean group and D and D group, and now it's nonstop recommending them. Yeah, our uh, our mutual friend. Um, that we used to work with, he uh, invited me to join a couple D and D groups, and so I did, you know, because I'm interested in D and D and whatnot. So I joined a couple of them, and it's I've seen some interesting posts, but I feel like that dominates my wall now. I feel like I I see more D and D posts than literally anything else at this point in time. It's kind of insane. Um, okay. Can we... Oh, man, I wish we could see a little bit better. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep following this around. Maybe there's something over here somewhere. Nope. I think we just went in a giant circle. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely just went in a giant circle. <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and throw down a save here. 
We've been doing uh, just under two hours at this point. So I think that's that's enough for tonight of Hurdy Gurdy. But uh, hey, I'm glad to see there was a little bit of interest in Hurdy Gurdy, Hurdy Gurdy at least. And if anybody wants to see more, I'm uh, I'm happy to play more. It's not an offensively bad game. I don't think it's my type of game, but I would play more of it. You know, it's not bad. It's very cute too. I love the art style. It looks surprisingly good. Like for 3D model, it almost doesn't look like 3D models. Just how well they stylized it. It it looks. It just looks too good for the PS2, you know? Other than all the obvious aliasing and whatnot. It, it, it just reminds me of something that would have come out on a, a slightly newer console. Just give it a, a texture overhaul, some anti-aliasing on there, and I I would mistake this for a PlayStation 3 game, probably. Like, I really like the art style of it, to be honest. And it's very cute, man. The bleeps, the honks the the dupes and the grumps like come on man this is like a, a children's storybook or something of a game it's very cute very cute i like it uh the gentleman that uh hopped in earlier i don't know if he's still in chat or not but xyxsr if anybody wants to check him out i, I clicked on his channel real quick and uh, saw that he actually speeds run this game's speed runs this game so I'll be honest, that's probably what I'm going to be uh, <laughs> checking out as I'm uploading some footage and, and doing some stuff tonight. I'm probably going to see what the speedrun of this looks like, just to be honest with you guys. Made you think of some early Xbox 360 stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see where you're coming from there. I can definitely see where you're coming from there. And, uh, like, on my smaller screen, because, like, obviously I, I, I have this blown up a little bit larger here and everything. But, like, if I uh, grab my remote here... And, uh, go into the... Oh, oh no. Oh, we broke it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we, we broke it. Let me, uh... <laughs> I was gonna say, what I was trying to say was, if we go in here and add the smoothing filter, because that is an option, uh, that it would probably look even better than what we have it at right now. But I accidentally hit the resolution switch, not the freaking uh, <laughs> smoothing, not the option switch button. So let's uh, let's try that again. Let's uh, nope, not 480p. I still want that 1080. That, that beautiful, beautiful 1080p. There we go. That's the one we're looking for right there. Okay. So now I just have to remember. I can never remember how to use the buttons on this stupid thing. The left and right. There it is. There it is. Okay, we want the uh, four line comb, motion adaptive, triple buffer. Scan lines would help probably in my opinion, but a lot of people don't like artificial scan lines. Oh. So like, that's why I don't normally have them on, but like just turning that on, oh, I should probably make sure the footage is uh, coming through since we, we screwed it all up there. There we go. Like that gets rid of the aliasing so well, just turning that on. I don't know how well that comes across on stream, but it looks so much better on PS2 games, in my opinion, with a little bit of scan lineage, because now all of the aliasing is just, it's disappeared. But it makes the, the image a lot darker, and a lot of people don't like them. That's the reason why I don't have them on whenever I'm uh, playing the game here. This one's messing with my eyes, not gonna lie. This integer 100%. And I can see that it's messing with the capture as well. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't turn that on for that very reason. But here, I have an uh, interpolation set to sharp. If I had that on soft, yeah, it clears it up a little bit. It helps a little bit. And I believe there's an update for my... Uh, I, I use a retro tank to, to upscale everything. I believe there's an update for that that helps uh, make the softening filter a little bit better even for these early uh, 3D games. But yeah, like, this actually looks pretty good. Just with that on, that cleared up a lot of the jaggies. Like, look how good the bleeps look. I mean, you may not be able to tell in 160p, but... <laughs> but yeah, I think that honestly looks pretty damn good, man. Like, this is a... This was a... a better than I expected game, you know? I am pleasantly surprised with it. I will say that much for sure. But sadly, that is all the time we're gonna have for tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and save here with him. And uh, then I think we're going to hop off for the night. Thank you all so much for joining me for the PS2 Gauntlet tonight. 
And uh, I don't know what game we'll be doing next. So I had originally planned, by the way, just while I have everybody here, to stream tomorrow on, uh, well, technically today on Sunday. But because of some uh, obligations and spending time with family for the holidays and stuff like that, I sadly won't be able to do my scheduled stream tomorrow. There may be a surprise stream like tomorrow night randomly or something like that. But uh, there's nothing on the schedule for it. But then we'll be back with Monday with more PS2 Gauntlet stuff. And then I'm really gonna I'm gonna push to try to get more of Lord of the Rings stuff done after that. Because uh, I'm hoping whenever I get the PS5 in to do a playthrough of the Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart game. And then before that even, I would love to finish the first Ratchet & Clank game. Just kind of to see like where it started to where it's at now. I would love to do that sort of thing. So I'm going to push to get that done and then probably try to move into Ratchet & Clank here relatively soon. Mr. Noodle with another five bits right before we leave. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate you so much, love. And yes, yes, we do need to do that Piglet game for Mr. Noodle one of these days. So very soon we'll do that as well. Lots of kisses. Love you, Mr. Noodle. Nate, thank you so much for coming. Anybody else who may be in stream or who uh, stopped in earlier, thank you all as well. I will see you next time. Good night, y'all.